finally tonight. It took a lot of planning and a trip halfway across the world, but the hardest part was keeping this Mother's Day surprise a secret. How one serviceman pulled it off, and boy, was mom surprised. The tears started falling just after mom Dina Entz hit the field at halftime of this Houston Dynamo soccer game. She thought this video from her son Andrew, an airman based overseas, was her Mother's Day gift. But the real gift was running up behind her. United States Air Force Staff Sergeant Andrew in. I had no idea. This has got to be the best Mother's Day present ever. It was priceless. It was like a moment I'll never forget. Uh, just seeing her, uh, her face and uh, the look and the expression on her face and how, how excited she was. Andrew is based in South Korea and hasn't been home in eight months. So being here today for Mother's Day and for church with his parents and sister is special. We weren't expecting him to come home until uh, December. Across the country, service members surprising their moms. Staff Sergeant James has just returned from Afghanistan to be Staff Sergeant Marquita James surprised her mother, a single mom of two, who was about to receive a master's degree from Brunel University in Georgia. Back in Houston, the Enses are making the most of Andrew's surprise visit. Brunch with extended family, particularly sweet since Andrew has rarely made it home in the past five years. Andrew and his mom get three weeks together this time, a visit the two will now never forget. It's been hard, but you know, I know that Andrew is in a good place. I miss him tremendously, but I know he's happy doing what he's doing, serving our country and protecting our freedom. And from everyone here at ABC News, a big hug to all the moms out there. GMA first thing in the morning, and David Muir is right back here tomorrow night. I'm Tom Yamas in New York. Have a great evening. Good night. You remember you wanted me to get early D set to come to your party? I don't know if I could get him, but we'll look over. Come on, go. Daddy! <laughs> Is he better than early D set, Lily? Yes, Who is that? Daddy. Daddy. New at 10 now, a hero's welcome. Pinellas Park police officer, who was also a Navy service member, returned from his deployment in the Middle East tonight, got a warm greeting from his family and fellow officers. Josh Cassio is here now. Quite a remarkable guy we hear. Yeah, you talk about a hometown hero. You name it, Officer Christopher Gibbs does it. Patrol officer, check. SWAT team, check. 
20 plus year naval career. Triple check, this guy has made a career out of helping others. Whether he's here or far, far away over there, Pinellas Park Police Officer Christopher Gibbs is dedicated to civil service. I just have this insatiable need to want to help people and serve my community. He returned home Wednesday after doing a year in the Middle East helping to provide defense for U.S. ships at sea. Gibbs is a senior chief master at arms in the U.S. Navy, serving for two decades. This was his fifth deployment. I do miss work, but uh, I miss the time I spend with my wife. I miss hanging out with friends and family and uh, relaxing. Very excited to have a home, to be back, get back to our normal routine and normal jobs and normal lives. Normal for Officer Gibbs means continuing to do what he does best. That's help and serve others. He's been a patrol officer with Pinellas Park for four years. He has a role on the sometimes dangerous SWAT team as well. My military experience, uh, 20 years in, uh, it's, it carries over in the police department when I deal with people every day. We're very proud of Officer Gibbs. He's uh, served this country well. He's served our community well, and we're just thrilled we're getting him back. Gibbs says he's looking forward to dinner at home with his family most and plans to be back on patrol as soon as possible. It is not always easy, uh, but he does it very well, and we do it very well uh, as a married couple, and uh, I'm very, very proud of him and all of his accomplishments. Family, community, and country. It's just a at the office for this hometown hero. And the chief says he has several officers who are in the reserves. He says he doesn't worry too much when they're deployed because they're all well trained and they all have very good heads on their shoulders. He has the utmost confidence in all of them. Back to you, I Mark. bet he does. That is a leader right there yeah. and a hero. Josh, thanks very much. Pinellas Park Police welcomed home a military hero last night. Officers lined up along the walls of Tampa International Airport as Officer Christopher Gibbs returned from his year-long deployment in the Middle East. Officer Gibbs is the senior chief master at arms in the United States Navy, and he served for 21 years. He's been with the Pinellas Park Police Department since 2012. Welcome home. <laughs>
up reading all of our Valentine's yeah. Day yeah. yeah. I think I might have a couple more friends. Do we have any more? Anybody else coming? Okay.